But this is getting pretty cool because if um, their whole point, watch the video of, of what they actually want to do. Their whole point is having a like global question and answer machine. Mm. Like how cool would that be? A, a machine where, well, it should just be the internet, but a machine where you just ask it any question you want and it yes, instantly right. gives you an answer. Well, an see, that's point. what that actually is. That if, Why not put that software on the net? Like just make a website that allows you to ask what's in any question. Yeah. Like, I mean, if it's answering Jeopardy questions, that's complicated stuff. Like yeah. really amazingly hectic. You chuck it on the net, you, you're really are leading the, the way. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't understand why it's not up there. <laughs> like, god damn. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Maybe excessive processing power, but that'll come down. Well, see, that, that's one of the, the, um, the things. This is actually, it was on Singularity Hub, but it's on all, it's all across the web. Like, it's the mm -hmm. big thing this week. But um, particularly on Singularity Hub, there's a, because the guy that wrote it is Aaron uh, Sainz. Completely killed his last name, but whatever. But um, there's uh, comments uh, saying that it was said that people will have access to this kind of technology by 2025 and they're saying well that's a long time away because yeah because what they're doing is looking at the processing power of the supercomputers and saying well this processing power won't be available to normal people until 2025 hmm. but this guy said well why not use the cloud yeah the cloud has pretty much you know unlimited inter like processing power well enough to to be able to yeah. use it on your iPhone by like or your phone by 2015 sort of thing. yeah just to get it out there because there's a couple of other ones, like there's the, that app called Siri, mm -hmm. which I'd love to try, but you can't try it in Australia. It's so lame. It's annoying. I, I hate those country restrictions. Like, it <laughs> just kills us. But, um, yeah, they, these sort of um, AI programs where you just ask them a question and it knows what you're saying and gives you an answer back. Mm. Like, this is getting to a um, another level of AI. But we'll well, probably, that's it. Well, we yeah. won't call it AI when we see it, but... Yeah, we'll look at it and be like, oh, whatever. Yeah, but but this is such a major thing that I, I, I mean, the processing power in it must be just astronomical, like crazy, but to actually put that up online, like the closest we've got now is like, you know, Google and Wolfram Alpha maybe, but even there, you can't really ask a question too much, like Google just looks up forums and things, whereas this is, it, yeah. it seems that like actually putting this on the, on the web, you'd make an absolute killing, just... I mean, Especially if you could learn from it. Well, that's it. That um, someone was speaking masses, about yeah. it in, um, I think, one of the, some of the Reddit comments were that we need to be able to um, make it ask questions. Yeah. And then as soon as it can ask questions and then find its own answer from that, then it's just it's yeah. a, little, a literal process. Just <laughs> yeah, self-replicates. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is kind of cool because let's say it's got, you know, like four answers are all at roughly around 25% and so it's not sure. So then it asks another question, oh, well, what about this? And then it finds its own answer for that, which I guess it probably already does in the program. Probably. I don't know, to get the statistical stuff. But... Well, you, again, you won't get to a really good implementation of this until you get to a, um, a maturation of the semantic web. Mm. Yeah. Again, well, yeah. If, you, if you haven't read the semantic web, go read it. <laughs> I am I'm amazed this isn't happening fast enough. The semantic web is just hectic, hectic interconnectedness, which is AI, mm. which will breed AI. That's it. This is coming very close to it. It's just the normal. Just years away. Just everyone connect the data. <laughs> connect your data. Well, this is actually what kind of leads on to my next article. Is it's a it's a Guardian one. It's about how the it's it's just talking about the internet as a retrospective and a future looking thing as about how now it is, we've spoken about this before, but now how it's become a utility, just the same as water and electricity. Yeah. But what he's saying is that we haven't really noticed, and uh, which is, it's kind of true, but... Well, you we've know, noticed. Well, we've noticed. <laughs> so the majority of people is just like, oh yeah, whatever. But then he, it speaks about, you know, nine different points actually going through about how it's just changing everything. And it's... I, I, I like this bringing it up because it's actually looking at the past, I thought was great, that, you know, we've got all these massively disruptive technologies, like, you know, the car... Yeah. Uh, well, electricity, like actually the very fact we have water and all of that coming up. And then you start to actually think, well, what are going to be the next disruptive technologies looking further on? Which is something I've been like just pondering for the next while. And um, mm. see, I'm not sure that that uh, a lot of what he says is that you look at, say, the dinosaurs of the old age, which were, say, uh, you know, media companies and newspapers and stuff like that. Yeah. Now they're getting replaced by new dinosaurs. That's no, so not the right word for that. Um, new things like Facebook and Google, which are these giant, massive things, massive organizational structures that are just working it all out. And then just trying to actually think, well, what's going to be the next thing after it? And he's got nine different points, which I think is uh, really great. Uh, fantastic points, yeah. Like just what? about, um, well, he's got some of the stuff here that it's, uh, the network is now the computer, like, you know, cloud computing, all of that, that we always need to see that it's not our parents' computer that, you know, you buy a computer with Microsoft Windows on it. And you start going from that. That's not a computer. The computer is yeah, the, the internet, world. Yeah. yeah. And then how how amazingly complex this all is right now. I mean, we've just got so many moving parts in the whole system. You look at Google, you look at Facebook. The, 
the amount of like not employees, but say the actual people that contribute to the system is just astronomical. Yeah. We compare that to like you know Time Warner, which very few. Well, the, the whole system is kind of self-organizing too. Mm. Well, the thing that's one another one you brought up here was about um, how you you need to think of the ecology of the system, not the economics. That you just need to think about every bit going in because economics only captures a small part, whereas right. the ecology is just how everyone interacts with. It. And you've got the trains. Like that's another important part to actually go. <laughs> If that can actually be replaced. Yeah. They, they're good places to run fiber on. Damn straight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I thought this was great though. I've, I've been just trying to think that like, you know, what's the big next disruptive thing coming through that the internet I think still is only just beginning. That oh, yeah. it's in, in the same way that say when electricity started coming out to every, everywhere and everyone started to use it, you couldn't really predict too much what it was going to do because it was still just changing everything. Yeah. That we haven't really reached that point where it's mellowed out, that's, that's not the right word. Um, it hasn't reached the next plateau. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It hasn't plateaued. It hasn't, you know, started to build the new thing on yeah. there. I think the internet's still just got a long way to go before it actually yeah. does it all. Like, you know, you need massive, massive bandwidth to everyone first. Well, they're saying the mobile web will be bigger than the... Yeah. Well, see, that, that, that I believe as well, yeah. Well, and that, yeah. And then again, when you come up with the web and the internet, that, like, the internet's connectivity, yeah. everything, not just the, you know, HTTP. Well, I guess it's slowly... It's slowly building to the point where we won't end up calling this thing the internet. No. It'll just be so interconnected that it w you won't call it. You'll just call it something. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And you just perfectly <laughs> collected. Put myself on the spot there. We'll just call it... <laughs> the one. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Chuck Norris machine. Could work. I'm a fan of infinity. I don't think that would work. <laughs> Connecting to infinity. No, see, that's when we actually, the, the planet's been just turned into petrol processing, we're getting other stuff hmm. with the infinity continuum. I guess the, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the internet of things, too. Yeah. Where, where like, your house and everything's all connected. You're not going to call that the internet. No. Like, if your toaster's talking to you, to you and saying, you know, hmm. I've got bread stuck in me or something, <laughs> then you're not going to call that no, the internet. internet. No. Well, because even the same way now, like, referring to the internet, like, d when was the last time you heard anyone say, oh, I'm surfing the web? <laughs> I thought that was great that yeah you used to actually log on and surf the web Ooh. yeah it was like you know crazy and new and so cool and you went out surfing and now it's you just know you always online it's just become a you know a, for lack of a better word like just a boring thing it's just always yeah. there that you don't well, and, and other people were discussing this and they were saying that you know it's just become comfortable and that's it because it's not anything new and crazy. The web now browsing the web and all that is comfortable. It's easy. It's not you don't notice it. Same way with electricity or the fact that yeah. we can just get water from those lovely metal things. And yet it's happened so fucking fast. Mm, <laughs> very very fast. And lots of fucking with it as well. That's why it went. Well, yeah, the porn sort of propelled it. I know it was brilliant. That's kind of sad. <laughs> I remember waiting for like you know a thirty oh, like a twelve second clip of porn and like waiting to download it all night. Yeah. God. I watched that clip a lot. <laughs> it's like the internet just exploiting, you know, that evolutionary paradigm in humans. Yeah. And exploiting we... all the girls as well. Yeah. Things they do. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. But it's like the internet just feeding these monkeys it, yeah. Yeah. Come on. At least it's anyway. great. <laughs> then, um, yeah, well, that's pretty much all I wanted to come with there. That I just think it's great that the Guardian.uk is pretty, you know. Yep. Cool. Pretty knowledgeable.